Welcome to Seven Pot Club. I'm Rob. I grow hot peppers. Our hot pepper garden is winding down for the season, and soon Halloween will be here. Time to start carving jack-o'-lanterns. Everybody carves pumpkins, but how about carving scary faces into peppers? This is not our original idea. We first saw it done by Kangstar, carving his very own Starracha pumpkin variety. Thanks to seeds from Kang, we grew Starracha pumpkin this year as well. Here's the plant, partially damaged by frost, but still hanging in there for a few more days. About a week ago, my wife Kat summoned me to the kitchen. She had picked the last ripe Starracha pumpkins from our plant and made her own pepper jack-o'-lanterns. I thought they were incredibly cool, so I convinced her to do it all again so we could film the process for this episode. I found some tiny lights we could stick inside the peppers to make them look even more dramatic. Then I wrote and recorded a spooky little tune to carve by. Let's get started. We've got everything we need. The most important items being orange hot peppers, an X-Acto knife, and a cutting board. Since it's the very end of the season, we don't have many pumpkin-shaped peppers left. Even at their peak, not that many of the Star Racha pumpkins were actually pumpkin-shaped. But hopefully we can make a good showing with what we have left. One final word to the wise before we start carving. People who don't wear gloves when handling very hot peppers always regret it later. So do as we say. Not as we do. Kat used the same technique to carve all the peppers, and here is the complete set of tiny jack-o'-lanterns ready for arranging into a spooky tableau. Here they are positioned on a bed of pepper plant leaves. In case you were wondering, we've labeled each variety we carved. Definitely a scary yet sincere pepper patch that is hopefully worthy of a visit from the great pepper this Halloween. Behind stands the masked artist, holding up the backdrop as we film her creepy creation. All of our viewers are super observant, so you probably noticed that we added lighting to simulate candles inside our jack-o'-lanterns. We needed something small and battery-operated, so we turned to Amazon where we found these strings of LED fairy lights that come in multiple colors. You get six 3.3-foot strands for a very reasonable price. The wire is quite bendable and the batteries are replaceable, these will be handy for all sorts of craft projects. I'll include a link to purchase in the video description. I've removed the caps so you can see how we cut small holes in the back of several of the peppers to insert the lights. 
I'd like to say this would make a fun centerpiece for your Halloween party, but if you use peppers this hot, you and your guests may be sneezing and weeping like we were when we were filming this. Maybe just take a photo and use it on the invitations. Here's what our pepper jack-o'-lanterns look like after we set them aside for a few days. They quickly decay and definitely don't last as long as carved pumpkins. But turn on the lights and they're still pretty spooky. But we prefer to remember them like this. If you have some peppers to spare, you might want to give it a try. Be sure to tag us if you post the results on social media. We just kind of threw this together and we'd love to see some real creativity at work. Kat and I are wishing you a safe and happy Halloween, full of treats and free from tricks. If you enjoyed our pepper carving experiment, please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell to receive a notification each time we post a new episode. We have merch, Seven Pot Club logo merch, plus classic, clever, and quirky hot pepper themed apparel, stickers, magnets, and buttons available in lots of designs and colors. If you're interested, please head over to sevenpot.club slash merch to learn more. And for even more Seven Pot Club, follow our daily exploits on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. For Seven Pot Club, I'm Rob. <laughs>